In this work, we focus on environments that change over time. Specifically, we explore the task of object instance relocalization. Given the instance segmentation of a source scene, we want to relocalize objects in a target scan taken at a later point in time. To this end, we first introduce FreeRscan, an indoor RGBD dataset of changing environments. We provide globally aligned pairs of textured 3D reconstructions, dense and persistent semantic instance segmentations, as well as ground truth poses of rigid changes. Finally, each scan comes with corresponding calibrated RGBD sequences. To reduce annotation time, semantic segmentations are automatically propagated from the reference to the rescan. With this, we get several scan pairs with sometimes three, four, or up to 12 rescans. Naturally, the majority of moved objects involve daily human interaction chairs, pillows, boxes, or tables. But also bigger room layout changes involving beds and sofas. Overall, we have 1,482 scans of 478 scenes. Semantic annotations are dense, with a coverage of above 98%. In these scenes, we have more than 3,200 object alignments. For this, we developed a scan-to-scan -scan alignment tool. Changed objects are first identified and then aligned in another view. Correspondences on the object in the rescan are carefully selected. Procrustis is then used to get the 3D transformation to finally align the object to the scene. This way, each changed object is annotated. Based on our dataset, we set up a public benchmark for object instance relocalization. We are given two scans of the same environment, one segmented. The task is to find corresponding 6D poses of changed objects. With this work, we propose a new data-driven approach for object instance relocalization. During test time, first 3D key points are extracted on the changed source object as well as on the target scene. Features for these key points are computed using a fully convolutional multiscale network. Correspondences are then found by doing a nearest neighbor search in a latent space, and then filtered via RANSAC. The remaining correspondences serve as an input for a pose optimization to get the 6D pose of the object of interest. At train time, the network parameters are optimized using a triplet architecture. Each anchor is therefore paired with a negative and a positive counterpart. For each sample, the TSDF volume around it is extracted at two different scales to get a feature that is minimized for the positive and maximized for the negative sample. Qualitative results show that it can successfully find distinctive objects, but is also capable to relocalize smaller items such as pillows or objects in presence of clutter. Thanks for watching.